Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Untitled Reviews. Now, if you want a decent gaming headset, odds on the first thing that doesn't, the first question that comes into your head isn't, does it vibrate? Well, for those people who do uh, who do have that question in their heads, then Razer have provided them with the Kraken V3 Hypersense. Priced at 130 quid or $130 or so, this is a headset that does offer haptic feedback, which is really just the notion of having something that vibrates, uh, which is a feature that's slowly becoming uh, key in things like um, the PlayStation 5 controllers and also PSVR 2's controllers should be offering haptic feedback as well. It's a nice little feature for increasing immersion, uh, but... In terms of this headset, is priced at 30 quid or so above the standard Kraken V3. And really the question remains, is it worth the outlay? So, inside the box for the Kraken V3 Hypersense, Razer have been kind enough to keep things remarkably simple, bundling you with the headset itself, complete with its kind of detachable boom microphone and some manuals that are currently off-screen and still in the box. So, in terms of design and indeed build quality, how does the Kraken V3 Hypersense stack up? against the competition well to be honest in terms of well really it's overall aesthetic you could argue it looks a little bit more professional than a lot of other gaming headsets out there just generally and also for this price because it blends some really nice feeling metals on the outside uh, and some plastic on the headband uh, to really make this feel like quite a premium headset it's rather well made although you could argue that's expected given the 130 quid or so asking price now you do get rgb uh, on the Kraken V3 Hypersense, although as it isn't currently plugged in, uh, you can't currently see it. Uh, but it, it basically just takes a very simple form uh, of a, a ring of RGB around the kind of Razer logo in this middle bit on either side, uh, kind of on, the, on either ear cup, uh, as it were. Also, uh, it's quite a comfortable headset as well, given the kind of rather large levels of padding that you're getting, both on these leather ear cups and also the more breathable memory foam uh, headband that Razer, Razer seems to be putting this breathable memory foam on pretty much every premium headset they make, uh, and it's all the more welcome for it. The Kraken V3 is immensely comfortable and offers some rather commendable uh, passive noise isolation. In terms of controls and things, it's all actually kept remarkably simple uh, around the back. You simply get a mic mute button, a volume roller, and round here, a little slot for the microphone, and a haptic feedback kind of trigger button, as it were. I mean, to be honest, it's kept simple, it's kept minimalistic. Everything here feels rugged and usable and absolutely fantastic indeed. The mic itself uh, is detachable, unlike, say, Asus's ROG Fusion 2 500 that offers a kind of internal mic. It's easy to put in, a simple, kind of just plug it into the slot. And, uh, well, the, away you go. That's all in. And <laughs> you're ready for a day's gaming. It's a remarkably simple headset to use and really well built. So, top marks to Razer on the front of design and build, I suppose. So what about audio quality uh, on the Kraken V3 Hypersense? Well, given the fact it's a premium headset, you could arguably kind of say that you'd be expecting some pretty decent audio. And to be brutally honest, you are going to get some rather nice balanced audio uh, with this uh, specifically. Uh, it's a it's a decent headset overall. You're going to get some nice balanced, uh, nice balanced audio, I suppose. Uh, it's crisp and clear with some nice balance, and you won't get as crunchy bass as you will on other headsets. For instance, it's remarkable uh, across lows, mids, and highs how nice, uh, I suppose nice really is the word, uh, that this specifically sounds. But arguably the reason for buying the Hypersense variant of the Kraken V3 is exactly that. This is a headset that offers haptic feedback, or in other words, uh, it vibrates along to any kind of in-game or uh, outside game audio. Uh, and that's really its kind of USP, as it were. It does rumble uh, a fair bit, depending upon which setting you have it on that's enabled within the Synapse software. And to be honest, when you're you're deep in the heart of battle, having some extra rumble uh, for some gunshots, for instance, can be a nice little factor uh, for immersion as such. Uh, but that's not to say that it occurs just inside games. As I say, even when you're in the menus uh, and selecting menus, if it's got quite a forceful sound, then you will get a little vibration as you press the play button, for instance. In short, it does add a certain degree uh, of immersion to games and can work pretty well uh, when, say, playing a few rounds of CSGO, for instance. Um, but it can get in the way a little bit. And to be honest, once I'd use it, used it for my round of testing uh, and I switched back to another pair of headphones uh, I turned the haptic feedback off <laughs> to be honest that may be the uh, may not be the response that you were expecting to hear given that it is a, a kind of 30 quid or so added extra on top of the standard Kraken V3 but for most people it's probably going to turn out to be that more of a novelty feature as such and so whilst its audio is absolutely brilliant the haptic feedback 
whilst intriguing, may not be the best edition, uh, and you might be better off saving about 30 quid or so. So, as for the microphone on Razer's Kraken V3 Hypersense, well, I'll let you judge the performance for yourself, because you're listening to it right now. Before we go any further, uh, what I am going to say is that I have upped the gain uh, of this headset within Audacity because uh, in just looking at the feed as I'm recording this, it comes out mighty quiet. So that will be up. So you will be hearing a slightly louder version uh, of what the V3 Hypersense sounds like, although it will be normalized. So none of the levels will be a little bit off. Um, it, there's some decent clarity with the Kraken V3 Hypersense microphone uh, and it's perfectly adequate for chatting to mates. I was talking to people on Discord the other night with this headset and they said it sounded absolutely fine. So it's not just me that says it sounds alright, uh, friends do as well, which is a good thing considering this is a gaming headset nonetheless. Um, compared to some uh, other mics on more premium headsets like Asus's ROG Fusion 2 500 for instance, it is perhaps a little bit thin. Uh, but for a, uh, an external boom mic that attaches to a decent gaming headset, this is going to do everything you want it to do and more. It sounds pretty decent, as I say, with good clarity, which uh, for a gaming headset you're going to be using for a rather long period of time is exactly what you want. Although it is, of course, worth noting that if you split this budget right down the middle, 130 quid is going to buy you a pretty decent mid-range USB microphone like uh, the Tonor TC Treble 7 that we've discussed before or... Uh, the blue uh, snowball mic uh, and will also buy you a relatively decent uh, mid-range gaming headset uh, like HyperX's uh, Cloud Stinger which is always traditionally rated uh, as a go-to budget gaming headset so it's really worth considering whether you want one big all-round package or two slightly cheaper but arguably more effective options for multiplayer comms. So as for its functions, uh, Razer Synapse 3 uh, is the software of choice for the Kraken V3. And you, firstly, you're greeted by the sound thing where you can turn the volume all the way up and simply either turn the haptics off or on and change it to be kind of low, medium or high. And you can also select a default output device that THX Spatial Audio will fall back to when... Uh, when you aren't using the headset. On the front of THX Spatial Audio, uh, this is Razer's 7.1 surround sound. So you can choose the specific kind of mode you want to use for various different applications, or actually set it for whatever game you use. And there's all sorts of modes, so from games to movies to music. And you can also choose the respective positioning. On the front of enhancements, this is where you'll find the kind of equalizer, as it were, for the V3 Hypersense, for everything from bass boost to sound normalization to vocal clarity, and you can choose various different audio equalizer settings. It's the same story for the mic with certain enhancements like vocal clarity and ambient noise reduction, which can be specifically handy, or certain for mic EQs, you can choose if you want it to be, say, a broadcast mic, or you want to boost the mic up. And as for kind of RGB lighting, you get a couple of different preferences, including static color and the spectrum coloring, and for static, you can choose all range of colors. So, in conclusion then, should you buy Razer's Kraken V3 Hypersense? Well, if you're somebody who desperately wants to try uh, the power of haptic feedback uh, so you can uh, rumble your ear holes, then go right ahead. The Kraken V3 Hypersense offers it in an intuitive form, and you may well like it, to be honest, and find it's a little bit more of a, than just a novelty. If you're on the hunt for some balanced audio um, that's crisp and clear and sounds rather sumptuous indeed, then the Kraken V3 Hypersense will also uh, kind of cater for your needs, as it were. And also, if you're somebody uh, looking for more of a minimalistic but sharp design as well, then this headset certainly does have you covered. It's probably one of the best looking headsets that Razer have ever produced, and is arguably the best headset in the Kraken line um, to date really just besides the standard Kraken V3 as it were but all in all to be honest it is 130 quid so that price tag is worth bearing in mind but you are going to be getting a fantastic all-round headset with some sharp and crisp audio and the additional bonus of haptic feedback if you want it is also present now, really, all that remains to be said is that if you've enjoyed this video don't forget of course to like, share and indeed subscribe to the channel and to indeed ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Uh, and of course, to follow us on indeed Twitter and Instagram. Link should be appearing on the screen right about now. Uh, and down in the description, if you fancy repping the untitled brand, as it were, you'll find that there's now an untitled spring store that's been around for about a year or so now that sells all sorts of t-shirts, mugs, hoodies, uh, stickers, pint glasses, all sorts of things, uh, wall art and canvas art and silly things like that. So um, basically down there, if uh, you want it, they've got it. Uh, spring are absolutely fantastic. Uh, and it's all very convenient. Uh, 
uh, ships worldwide and the quality of the stuff is also wonderful as well so go check that down in the description uh, if you are looking for any of that sort of stuff and also if you like any of the kit we feature in these videos be it this Razer Kraken V3 Hypersense or any of the other myriad of headsets keyboards mice laptops multimedia controllers microphones and all sorts besides that we featured on this channel over the last couple of years or so then uh, be sure to check, uh, check the descriptions as there'll be Amazon links down there where you can pick all that kit up. So, once again, thank you very much for watching.